Queen Ezzy and these are my sims. Welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry 2.0 Challenge. And I promise y'all we're going to get out of this cabin soon. <laughs> I'm just having a lot of fun playing um, in the cabin. And I think Basil is having fun, you know, getting away from home, getting a change of scenery kind of being done with the whole relationship you know it's the end of a new chapter and the beginning of another one so i think some of the some of um another thing that will help him get over this relationship is he's moving to a whole new city um like i said he's moving to oasis springs and he will get a fresh start and hey it'll be like he can continue to heal and move on and then he's getting some messages from a social bunny i'm gonna be nosy and see what they say <laughs> excuse me sorry <clears throat> oh wow it says follower update today your follower count changed by 107 everybody's probably heard about that fiasco and it's finally starting to die down Lunch is a great time to make some friends. What? Uh-uh. If I had a Somalian, every time Basil was cool, I'd be broke. <laughs> Carmella is like standing us. Carmella, please. <laughs> we are not friends. No. So Philip was our officiant, officiant for the wedding. No, Philip, we're not going to add you to our contest list. <laughs> oh, Sage. Very fun fact: cow plants always get left out, and which is why they suffer from severe what FOMO. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means. All right, he got some messages. Erin, <laughs> your style is everything. Teach me your ways. Sure thing. Hey, bestie, we are not besties. Canal uh, Amber is another one of um. Tempest friends and she's like basil what what's up buddy we're not buddies so let me angry face that let me angry face this y'all need to quit contacting me okay we're not cool <laughs> but you know this says otherwise i don't know how his friendship is so high i guess they were all like in the friend group so they were kind of cool but yeah we're not friends with y'all anymore no oh my goodness Please don't set the stove on fire. Oh, my God. As soon as I... Y'all, I couldn't even get the words out. I could not make this up if I tried. I literally said... I was literally about to say, please don't set the stove. Look at Aaron in the... Like, hey, yo, yo, call the fire department. Please. Oh, my gosh. What do you mean? Is, what's happening? He's on fire. I'm trying to get him to extinguish himself. Extinguish yourself. Like, why y'all ain't helping? This, of course, they all run outside and leave Basil. Basil, like, <laughs> you gonna pay? Your dad is gonna be like thirteen thousand dollars. <laughs> what did you do? Do some cooking lessons, like. <laughs> Everybody's eating burgers anyway. I was trying to help, have him make bacon and eggs. How do you burn bacon and eggs, Basil? It's bacon and eggs. This is such a basic food, breakfast food to cook. Bacon and eggs. You can't make bacon and eggs? Oh my gosh, what are we going to do with you? On that note, take a, take a shower and use it. Oh, now you cowards want to run back in? Like, oh, look at this fool. He's like, what? Where y'all coming from? He, he like, y'all didn't hear the, you didn't hear the fire, bro. He's like, fire. I was in there taking a shower. <laughs> He's cleaning up though. He was like, you, you brothers is, y'all are nasty. Like, <clears throat> clean up behind yourself. They like, you want to talk, bro? Most of them place yours. They like, <laughs> he, he, he like a lie. I ain't. I hardly ever ate anything here. He's like, I clean up my stuff. They was like, yo, where is, we gonna talk to Basil when he come out here. 
and we're gonna be like every yo basil we ordering out man don't even worry about <laughs> my parents like uh-uh he's like don't even worry about cooking bro we're gonna order pizza order out that's what we're gonna we're gonna order takeout Put this nasty stuff in the garbage Let's do that right now. As a matter of fact. <laughs> as a matter of fact, let's do that right now. Y'all, these, these icons, I'm still trying to get used to them. Get some pizza. What time is it? It's 1025 in the morning. It don't even matter. We ordered a pepperoni pizza. <clears throat> they like, uh, Basil's is not allowed to cook. He's no longer allowed to touch a stove or a grill while we're out here. <laughs> He's like, man, I don't know what happened, man. It was like every time I touch a stove or a grill, it get it it catches on fire. <laughs> John, like, <laughs> bro, you you gotta stop that shit. <laughs> he, he was <laughs> John, like, that's good, bro, cause now we'll have to eat them dry ass burgers no more. <laughs> <laughs> damn. He was like, Basil, like, damn, bro. If you didn't like it, why didn't you just, you know, say something earlier? Like, you ain't trying to hurt your feelings or nothing. But, yeah, them burgers was dry as hell. But it's like, ah, it's like, you could do better. Hey, Miss Pizza Lady, we're coming to get our food. John, like, hey, I, I, I ain't trying to brag. And then he like, shit, who I'm kidding? I ain't trying to brag. Hell yeah, yeah. I, I could do a lot better than, than dry ass burgers. <laughs> Why they walking around in towels? Y'all trying to. Ain't no, ain't no bad here. <clears throat> but the pizza lady. He like, y'all. <laughs> John, like, yeah, I can, I can make something better than. I can definitely make it. Bacon and eggs. Like, this shit ain't no damn rocket science. You you don't need no high cooking skill to make bacon and eggs, my guy. He like, you know what? Y'all just not gonna let me leave this down. I'm like, hell no. Maybe if you had only started the fire, like, if you'd only started one fire, cool. But two, my guy? Two fires? <laughs> no, we not gonna let you leave that down. <laughs> We're gonna start calling you Blaze. Yo, Blaze, you good? <laughs> ah, ha ha, funny. Very, very funny. <laughs> Just checking, bruh. Just checking. <laughs> Basil, you messed up the flow. Everybody was around here. And finally, y'all done got together at the table to eat. <clears throat> and now you want to go clean up. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who is this? Christopher, Christopher, what's wrong with you? Oh no, this is Mark. Mark, what's your what's your malfunction? What's going on, man? He like, y'all, did y'all hear that? Hear what? He like, ah oh, man. I thought it was a I thought it was something up, but it's it's just the radio. <laughs> he like, bruh. <laughs> you okay? Like, man, I don't know, man. Being out here in the woods, it's just something about it. <clears throat> well, we don't have to come to the woods every time. Look at, they all getting down. This is hilarious. Look at Basil, Basil, got, he, with the two, look at John. Oh my gosh, with the two step. They with the two step. <laughs> They're like, we definitely gonna have to come back, like, and like, spend, <coughs> excuse me, have a guy's trip. But Bay's like, yeah, but in the meantime, y'all, let's do, let's just do like a fishing thing. Like, we don't have to come here, we don't have to spend a weekend. We can just come in and spend a day, like a Saturday. We can do like a Saturday and we can go fishing. Every Saturday morning, we should make it a ritual. And they like, I. Right. So like this, what is today? Today's Tuesday. So he's like, Saturday morning. Basil, what? What the heck? Did y'all see him walk outside? Like I did not see him walk outside. <laughs> he just disappeared. You gonna light the fire? Okay, cool. So, oh my gosh. They like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 
he quickly extinguished it. I didn't tell him to do that. What happened? He's afraid of fire. You should be. Okay, John's. He's like, let me light it, dude. Let me light it, dog. <laughs> Big dog. Let me light it. Are you, is he finna put it out? He is. <laughs> he is. He's finna put it out. Hold on. Is that a, like a fear that he's gained? I'm trying to see where if I can find out where it is. Oh my gosh. Yes, fear of fire. Basil will want to run away and hide from fire and has an increased chance of starting fires accidentally. Oh my gosh. Basil, you cannot cook. Like, you're going to have to order food. You, you're you going to have to order out every day. He's coming to put it back out. He's like, bruh, no, put the fire out, dog. He's like, John is like, my, bruh, are you okay? He's like, man, that was the most terrifying experience I've ever had in my entire life. I said, myself on fire twice no i am not okay <laughs> okay there are a lot of there's a lot of cloud gazing going on around here <clears throat> but yeah he's like no it's not no i'm not okay i set myself on fire twice and i've set destroyed two appliances um let me not make it a heat wave out here i'm, I'm cheating this weather i am cheating the hell out of this weather i don't care <laughs> all right so we got christopher back here i mean mark i don't know why i want to keep calling christopher mark back here making drinks oh john and oh here's christopher oh christopher how nice of you to join us today to of uh, the last day of our vacation shoot yeah you've been m.i.a the whole trip Ooh. oh he's about to drink it i was like oh is he finna make Okay, Basil, how about you try making a drink? You can make a drink for, um, let's make one for Chris. Cause, um, oh, I was gonna say, cause Aaron is outside, but Aaron came back in. Where are you? Oh, oh, over here talking to him on the couch. Make him a drink. Hey, John, you want a drink? <laughs> yeah, man. Just don't give me no sea of, fly, of fire. <laughs> He's like, ha ha, bruh. I can't even make that drink. <laughs> He's like, you can get a rum. You can get this good rum and coke. Or better yet, you can get this good glass of wine. <laughs> Let's see, what is Basil's favorite drink I'm going to make? Oh, shoot, Basil. Okay, wine is your favorite drink. I see you. Chris, we weren't even making that drink for you. Like, whatever. <laughs> Sip on some wine at two in the afternoon. Y'all done ate pizza. Y'all done fished. You done hiked. You played horseshoes. I'd say you had a pretty good damn time. Right? <clears throat> now y'all all sitting together chatting. This is so great. This is like memories. Y'all know I love relationship building in my gameplay. Like, I love building relationships with my Sims. Like, because you know that feel like that's realistic like and look at this classy shit right here <laughs> my guy is sipping wine on the couch y'all know y'all know it be is it, this is bomb but yeah y'all know y'all i am such a relationship builder in my in my sims file i think that's why i like i know some <laughs> my my challenges or let's play or whatever i know they're gonna have tons of videos because i spend so much time trying to keep build relationships because i think it's important it's important in real life and i feel like it's important in my, excuse me in my sims life as well i feel like it increases the the um let's have some deep conversations i feel like it increases the um the realism and the storyline you know what i'm saying like I've I've watched a lot of let's plays in my day and I the ones that keep my attention are the ones that are rooted in story and you know the ones those are the ones I found most entertaining and relatable so that's exactly what I'm trying to be both entertaining and relatable <laughs> all right so they're like okay so what are y'all doing when y'all get back home and Aaron is like, man, I'm catching some sleep because you know how when you go on vacation, you need a vacation away from the vacation. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He was like, I took off work tomorrow, so I will 
<clears throat> he's like, I will not be um, going in. And we only have four hours left. Aww. And um, Mark is like, I'm probably going to be on call. This is Sadie. Oh, Sadie is Philip's wife. So this is the officiant's wife. Hey, I heard you became friends with Elijah Calabaza. He's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Mark is like, I'm. I'm gonna be on call. So I have to. I definitely have to hit the bed when I get home. And John is like, shit. I'm gonna go home and call up Tamika. <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, man. At the same time. <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with Tamika? They was like, you two. He, he Bae was like, okay, real talk. My guy, you two are toxic. And John is like, I mean, we're not trying to be a thing. <laughs> She's just a cut buddy, you know what I'm saying? Bae was like, see, that's why we grown. Every time you talk to Tamika, Every time y'all get together and do whatever it is that you do, here's Mark. Mark is talking. He's like, every time y'all get together and do whatever it is that you do, that girl ends up either destroying your property or somebody that you know property in the, in the end because she's crazy. And he's like, and I don't even like saying that about people. Where are y'all going? Y'all separating. We're trying to have a conversation. Mark's like, I don't even like saying it about people, but y'all crazy. Aaron, like, what you talking about? Like, Tamika and John. He's like, ah, oh. <laughs> like exactly. He's like, he finna call her again. He's like, yes, that girl is crazy, and they're all like, hell yeah. And he like, I don't even like to. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, here come Baze again. <laughs> Baze was like, you know, well, well, I don't like labeling women, period. But yeah, she is crazy. Like, and for no reason. Because she knows that John is not interested. He's told her several damn times, like, I don't want you. This is not a relationship. Basically, just, you know, a good lay. And she's still, like, is ready to fight. She ready to fight. She ready to, to destroy some property. Like, Aaron's like, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't understand him. John, like, man, screw y'all. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm tapping that ass tomorrow. <laughs> and like, don't call. Basil's like, do not call my phone. I am not coming this time. Aaron, like, yep, I'm out too. I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. <laughs> Mark said, I already told you, I'm gonna call. And then Chris was like, bro, you know not to hit up my phone with that girl. Y'all crazy. <laughs> exactly. Aaron, why are you talking about marriage? <laughs> Basil doesn't want to hear anything about marriage right now. Anytime soon. He's not interested in marriage. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I am going to uh, put my video on pause for now. And just let them enjoy the rest of their vacation. And I will be back with you all when I am ready to move Basil out into his new home. Alright y'all, so vacation is over and we are back. And as you guys can see, Sage is out here like... <clears throat> as soon as Basil got back, he's greeted by his sister. So, I'm gonna have him hug her. Like, what's up sis? It's like... Hey, welcome back, bro. How was your vacation? And he's like, oh, it's great. Um, <clears throat> it's because interest. He's like, it was great. Uh, you know, if anybody says anything to you about fires, <laughs> please ignore them. She's gonna be like, what? What happened? And he's like, I set the grill on fire and the refrigerator on fire. And I set myself on fire twice. She was like, oh my God. <laughs> she's walking away. She's tense because she's a party animal. Oh no, she needs some fun. She's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, but mom and dad aren't going to be too happy about the bill. She's like, they'll be, they'll be glad you, you're okay. Thanks for the talk, sis. <laughs> 
all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move basil out so oh yeah this is his his parents house y'all so yeah they're living they're living the life this house is huge it's actually too big <laughs> it takes them forever to get places as you know sims tend to do when they're in some a big space so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have basil move out <clears throat> um let's see and since this is his his parents technically or where the storyline is this is their rental house um in the event that it costs some money to to get it we're just gonna give him the money or we'll um and we'll cheat it back down or we'll have him do free real estate um split from the house and move please we're gonna see how much the house costs but technically technically yeah that's exactly what i wanted to do um i was on what's up y'all so unfortunately the video stopped um I don't know if it was I think I hit maybe one of my um keys that um what a, one of my hot keys <laughs> excuse me and it stopped my recording on me so this will probably be tagged on to the end of that last video just keep that in mind but I'm back now so I'm gonna transfer two thousand dollars that's all basil is gonna take you know, his mom especially would be like, honey, you know we can give you more money than that. And he's like, no, mom, 2000 is good. I'm good. I can make it on with 2000 Um, You guys have done enough. You're giving me the rental property. I'm good. She's like, okay. So we're going to move him into the house. I'm so excited. Here is his fresh start. Alright, so he's moving from Del Sol Valley. And by the way, this is where like Tempest and her parents live. So just in case you were wondering. So um he's here, her parents are there, and then this is the Made of Moons. We don't we don't talk to them. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Oasis Springs. And here's his cute little house. Wow, it's like you cannot afford this lot. Oh yeah, watch me. Now I bet you I can. Oops, you're not stopping us, game. You're not stopping us. We are moving into this house. Move in. Furnished, yes. So excited for y'all to see the house. Now this house, I did build myself. And... Uh, um, so let me tell you about this house. This was a house that I built for another save file of, of mine. Um, I did in a save file an eco lifestyle like rags to riches situation just to try it out because I mean I've never done a rags to riches situation before. So this is a house that I built for them after they had gotten like a little bit more money and were doing pretty good. And so what I did was I just changed up the color scheme on it to make it mint for our guy basil so let's start with oh his area so we're in oasis springs as i stated before and he is um so he has a good space here so let's just go on inside let's just go on inside and you guys can check out his house you can check out space so it's a pretty open floor plan um here's his his kitchen uh you guys know he ain't touching that kitchen like <laughs> i don't know maybe i'll make him have garden salads or something but he 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 has to get his skill up and then they're talking about he he got a higher risk of starting fires oh no but this is kitchen here is his living area space this couch and tv television and everything is so that then 
further down he has like um a little nook area for like a desk and a computer um and here's his dining space i love like i love his house i love his house i might update some of his things with some of the uh the items from the high school pack as i see fit but for right now i'm loving it here's the half bathroom downstairs and y'all can see now this is this is like the minty theme and then outside is like um out here is like a patio like space where he can my um idea was he could entertain you know there'd be a grill and stuff eventually but um yeah i don't think he's gonna make it to the grill <laughs> i think he's gonna have to leave the cooking up to his okay future <clears throat> so after <laughs> the first take where my video cut off um this time it cut off because it said i didn't have enough space to keep recording so i had to delete some stuff but we're back and we're going upstairs so let's go upstairs um and then this is like a little you know nook area here and this door right here is rose generation so that's a bedroom for them and then through here let's flip the camera around through this door is his bedroom so i was saying before my video cut off that he's probably gonna have to leave all of the cooking up to his future spouse <laughs> whoever that's gonna be um because yeah he's just he's he's not gonna he's not gonna make it but yeah here's his room it's very nice and clean and then through here is his bathroom now his bathroom because he was like he's a, supposed to be an angler right and he loves fish so i put fish in his wall in the bathroom i thought it was cute i was like he's an angler we can put some fish in here and make his bathroom look like you know it's underwater <laughs> yeah so that is the tour oh one more thing out here is a, like a little it's meant to be like a, a shed but you might as well say yeah it's a shed because we don't have we don't have cars in the sims 4 i'm not salty about that i mean you know if that sounded salty it wasn't meant to be i'm not salty about that at all but we don't have cars in the sims 4 so i made a little shed for him to do his his engineering work so he can come out here and do engineering here but i'm actually going to cut this video off because it has been chopped <laughs> it's been cut off plenty of times and um i have to edit those little parts together so it's going to extend it a little bit so i'm going to end the video right here i'm going to show you guys the empty rose gin room here it is so if you guys enjoy what you've watched on today, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!